simply going to take my damage stuff off and switch on to Actually, I'm going to take my damage stuff off and switch on to this. So I'll be doing less damage, but it should be better for tanking. And we'll see how this fight goes. A little bit of a tight area, but let's see what tricks he's got up his sleeve this time. He's got the advantage with Drunken because he can just run around and spam his Drunken kicks on me and I can't use Drunken because I currently do not have an advantage. And when I go on the attack, of course, he's going to switch to Titan and block the damage, but I do so. So he's going to go for drunken runarounds. I need to swap my skills. You got done. You ran and used drunken. 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 So now I've put mine on. I've put mine on. I've put mine on. Go again. Let me guess he won't go again because now I've seen what he's doing. So he did that, probably checking that I didn't have Drunken equipped it. You want to do that? You're not the only one who can play that trick. We'll start off in this class first. You want a drunken challenge? I can do that one. Let's see, are you going to go or not? Come on, man, because my game's lagging. So can you stop waiting for my ping to shoot up and start the fucking battle? But as you can see in that fight, he spent his time just hit and run, hit and run, running away. And I couldn't do anything about that because I didn't have Drunken. And because he's a higher might, he gets the um, high um, stun resistance and shit like that. That basically means when I use Exe on him, it fails to pull. So he's able to just continue running around.
As you can see in that battle, all he did was run around the edge of the place, then go straight towards me, hit me with a drunken, then run around. And now he's just quitting after one win. Come on, you little pussy. You better hurry up before I change all of my other stats. And let's not forget I decreased my damage. Don't see what else I could take after that. That should be alright. Playing Dark Heaven C back on. Dark Heaven Card or something like that. It's not going to let me. Oh, yes, it is.
I'll have to check his fucking classes in case he's ready to cheat. Oh, I see. In a piece. So he's going for an inner piece train. Oh, I know how to do that. I know I have a problem. Come on, you dickhead. because there are other skills I have to put on for different events. Like when I'm doing Adv. Obviously I don't use Drunken Immortal in Adv. Which is why you try to catch me before I put the skill on. I literally catch me off guard to get a sneaky win on me and now hold me stuff. And this video shows the full story. So Edge got one win by using Drunken Immortal, and what he did is he just run around like this, and he just got back 
after I use a skill. Over here, over to there, trying to make it to keep me in the middle. So I can't do that. And he won't fight me when I've got this pressure quickly because he knows if he tries that trick, I can count the same thing. You know what I mean? So now he chickens out. I was expecting a fight, not one of those ones where I have to keep chasing after him again. And sometimes he fights, sometimes he don't, but he spends so much time just running away in the middle of a battle. But he calls that skill. And that's probably why he chose this area as well. Because basically by being in a tight space like this, he can, obviously he knows where he's going to run, so he can position his character so he can go like that, right around here, over here, hit me with a grab there, repositioning the character for where he's next going to move to, and I'm spending my whole time trying to, like, find him before I can actually attack him. So he goes narrow space with drunken immortal, and then runs away the whole time, and just does a hit run, hit run type of combination while I'm trying to fight him. And then when I put my drunken immortal on so I can counter him, he doesn't want to fight. So you tell me what you guys make of that. Because I'm up for another fight. One match, he got one win. Look at how many wins I've got on him. But yeah. This guy actually thinks he can beat me in a straight up fair fight. And now he's disappeared. And let's keep in mind how many wins I've had on him, and that's his might compared to mine. I'm actually catching him up. Yeah, I'm actually closing behind him now. At least when he's in that class, whatever class it was in. What class is he in now? Um, that is Armblade, that is Tai Chi or Drunken. He's probably in Drunken. So yeah, we'll end this video here. And this is our Edge hiding from a spa after getting one win from using Drunken Immortal Kicks and running away. And at the time, as you saw, I didn't actually have it equipped it so I couldn't use the same trick against him because I had a different skill equipped it which is extremely weak because it's not upgraded which was this one which is only like eco 5 which I couldn't use and obviously you can't use um, my spectre's eco 5 so it's too risky using that not only that you can't grab with it properly whereas Exe you can grab but you, could, you only have one grab move and, if it, and it misses quite easy. Whereas the Drunken Immortal is a lot easier for dealing with runaway players. So yeah, we'll end this video here and I'll see if he has the guts to spar me at another time. And when he does, I'll make sure i got Drunken Immortal equipped in case he tries that runaway. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.